Hello everybody, my name is Max Mason. I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, I was having a pretty good day and then it got even better because Will Muschamp got fired. So great day to be a Gamecock, great day to like football. Hopefully our program will actually be good now if we make the right hire. But speaking of football, I'm gonna do this blog on about the NFL, but not like the actual football part because everyone knows what the NFL is obviously. But not everybody knows that the NFL has a lot of charities. And the one I'm gonna be focusing on today is called Crucial Catch. Crucial Catch is about cancer. So everybody knows what cancer is. We've all lost somebody to cancer, I feel like. I've lost a grandpa, I've lost a grandma. I'm sure you all have. Millions of people die every year because of it. So yeah, everyone knows cancer sucks. But I feel like cancer hasn't been talked about as much this year than it normally does. And the numbers on this website back it up. Uh, you know, October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is normally a huge thing. And it really wasn't this year. Like, I, it really wasn't this huge thing this year, I feel like. Because the main part of it is COVID. Everyone's talking about COVID. No one's talking about cancer. And the numbers on the website uh, actually says since March 2020, Routine cancer screenings have dropped, resulting in a screening rate drop between 86% and 94% for some cancers. That's crazy. That is not a sustainable rate. Obviously, it's harder to get stuff done, but those numbers need to improve because everyone knows once cancer spreads, it's way more deadly. And the whole point of the Crucial Catch program, you know, it's to catch it that's the pun on words, to catch it before it spreads, a crucial catch. Because according to the website too, for many forms of cancer, the main forms of cancer that they talk about are breast, cervical, colectrical, and prostate. For those forms, the survival rate after five years is above 90% when detected early before it spreads. So that's obviously a significant increase in survival. So. The whole point of the program is to wait, raise awareness, because obviously the NFL is a huge platform. That's why they've started doing more political things. That's why they've started doing other things, like the wait, raise awareness. And they have a platform, they're gonna use it, and they obviously, no one wants people to die to cancer. So the program's been going on for 12 years. It's gonna be going on till I don't even know when. It's a good thing. So, I mean, I don't know if it's, they've raised money, people can donate to it, the players donate to it. They uh, actually, this year, they're wearing tie-dye hats and bandanas and they got tie-dye merchandise on the website. I'm sure all the money from that goes, to, not all of it, NFL's pretty greedy, but I'm sure some of the money from that, most of the money from that probably goes to cancer awareness and cancer research. Um, so yeah, people, can't really forget cancer is a thing because if you don't get your checks and you have it, you're not as likely to survive and that sucks, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, thank you uh, for watching. Obviously, most of my fellow freshmen and students in this class don't really have to get checked for cancer at our age, but eventually we will. So we have to remember that. That if you don't get checked, you could have it and not even notice it yet. And by the time you start feeling symptoms, you're way too late. We all know who Alex Trebek is. He recently passed away. We all know who Chadwick Boseman is. He passed away this year due to cancer. And you got to catch it before it spreads. You got to go to those check-ins. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay healthy during this pandemic. Stay safe. Have a nice day.